In this episode of Cooking with Stacey Lynn, we are going to be making pumpkin pie pioneer style. So I wanna get started, but first I wanna tell you how it all began. We are an experimenting family and my husband Scott and I thought, you know, what if we just cooked pumpkins right over the fire, right over the coal? So we put pumpkin down on the coal and it kind of burnt and all, and then we put it onto a cast iron skillet, put it back on top of the coals, and it did perfectly. So the next time we put some filling in it and that's where I'm gonna start with this recipe right now. This is what you need to know to do pumpkin pie pioneer style. Sugar pumpkins are the best pumpkins to use when doing this because they cook just the right amount of time and you're not having to overdo it with the large pumpkins. So all you do is take the top off, make it to where it fits back on, and then get everything from the inside out. All of the inside is gonna just come right off of the sides of it and it's gonna make a wonderful pie filling for you that you can eat right out of the pumpkin. All you're gonna need is a little bit of sugar, a little bit of ginger, about a quarter teaspoon, a little bit of cinnamon, about the same amount. I don't really measure it because to me measuring gets very chaotic. I would rather just eyeball it and it be just a tad too salty or whatever than to have to bring all of those utensils out here. And if you're cooking out, you don't want to have to bring all of that. It's just a little ginger, a little bit of cinnamon, and then a little bit of heavy cream. I'm using two cups of heavy cream because I have two pumpkins. Normally I do four, and the recipe is for four pumpkins. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this together. And I have got the filling already ready for the pumpkins. So now all I have to do is pour it in to the pumpkins. All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna put the top back on, and it fills the pumpkin about halfway. So I put the pumpkins down into the skillet and I am using skillets that I only cook over the fire with. If you use the ones you do cornbread with inside, you're gonna have to completely re-season them, so don't use those. While the pumpkins are on the fire, we're gonna make a little crust. We're gonna be putting the crust on top of the pumpkin pie, and it's gonna look really cool and really artsy the way we're gonna do it. And we're not putting it on the bottom because it might burn on the bottom and I don't want you to have burnt crust when you can have the best crust there is. Super simple, we've already made the crust, but we're gonna roll it out and we're gonna make it into strips. You remember how easy it was from my previous video and now we're gonna get to roll it out. I put a little bit more flour than was necessary because I remembered my dough was a little bit softer than I wanted it, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and press it out right now. And I don't want it to stick. So I am gonna go ahead and make strips. And these do not have to be perfect. Nothing when you're cooking out to me, it's not about perfection. It's just about having fun and eating the best food that's out there in the entire world. That's all. Okay, so now I'm ready to take a few pieces over to the fire and go ahead and get these nice and fried. So we're down here with my 350 degree oil. I have it really close to the fire coals and that way it'll get to temperature in the right amount of time. Okay, so I'm just gonna put down in here my pieces of crust and I'm gonna fry them up. And as soon as they're fried, I've got a surprise that's gonna go on top of them. To keep the temperature from dropping too rapidly, I'm gonna put a really, really old sheet pan on top of my little bread pan that I'm frying in. And I find that if you fry in a smaller container, it is much easier to get the oil hot. All right, it looks like it's about time to get these out. So I am going to try to gently remove them to my cookie sheet with a cooling rack on top of it. So I'm gonna take the pumpkin. You could spoon it out, this is super hot, or you can just pour it out right into your bowl, okay? And you'll do this with each one of the pumpkins. I've got a lot of flesh down in here. It's all cooked and delicious. Yum, 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 that is what I have to say about that. 
And this has already got the sugar, the cream, it's got everything you need. And so you could eat it, like I say, right out of the pumpkin. That is so cool. So I've just gotten my mixture back from the pumpkin and it is a beauty. It's already very, very hot and I'm just gonna stir that right up. And so what I'm gonna do is stir three eggs into the mix. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stir one at the time because this is a hot mixture and I wanna make sure that it doesn't curdle. All right, so now I've got another egg. I'm gonna stir that in. And then I'm gonna stir in an egg yolk and this is gonna make it really, really smooth. It's gonna make it more creamy. There we are. I'm gonna put a little bit of brown sugar. It doesn't brown that well over the fire, so I'm gonna put a little bit of brown sugar to caramelize a little bit, and I'm gonna use the same trick that I did before to get this done, which is to put the sheet pan over it and let it steam a little bit, and it'll be kind of custardy when you do that. So let's go put it on the fire. All right, so we have our done pie, and it looks really, really good. And so now my favorite part. So I'm gonna put my crust crumbles and my nuts and my powdered sugar mixed with cinnamon and it's gonna be so good and I cannot wait to dig in. All right, so here we go. Just gonna put these just here and there all about. Okay, so I'm gonna pile that up and then I'm gonna put some nuts all around it and on top of it. So you're gonna get a little bit of crust and a little bit of nuts all in your bite. All right, here we go for the main event. Okay, this is exactly like I wanted it. Nice and custardy. It's got a great texture. I cannot wait to get into this. You go home and make one with your family and stay tuned for more cooking with Stacey Lynn and thanks for watching.